I appreciate everything that you have done for our family, especially for me. Uh, I was always asking God uh, for so long. We've waited uh, to, to tie the knot. I almost given up. And I was and I was thinking that maybe, maybe God has other plans for me. But then again, God said, keep calm. You are, love is faithful, love is kind. And you are that from day one. So thank you so much for, for being that to me. And uh, since vow ito, kailangan ko sabihin sa kanila yung mga gagawin ko, di ba? First off, submit. <laughs> so, okay. Support. So, clarify ni pastor na support yun. I will support you when you cook and I say I'm on a diet. I will support you when you say you will go to the gym and enroll but never went there. I will support when you say that you have to leave for our family. And I will support your dreams and your careers because I know you would be happy. And. I vow to respect you and to honor you all the days of my life. And I will try to be more patient <laughs> and understanding <laughs> and not so grumpy. Um, I will try my best not to make decisions without consulting you. And I will try my best. Shut up. <laughs> no, no, no. And uh, thank you for honoring me, honoring my parents, and for doing the right thing. We've been, we've been living a happy life, but it, I know it's wrong. We both know it's wrong. But God is merciful and gracious. He accepted us and our family. And be blessed today in front of our family and friends. And thank you. I just want to say thank you for being the epitome of a man that our daughters, you know, would look for in the future. So guys, Anak, mga anak, when you, in the future, when you find a husband, find somebody like your dad. Thank you for loving me. And I will do the same. I love you.